take you to the Winnipeg Arena for an exciting classic wrestling match from the past. The bridge by Robinson with a side headlock. Now Robinson back to his feet. Bringing Blackwell along. The big man again taking Robinson into the ropes. How about that? Takedown by Blackwell, I think somewhat of a surprise to Billy Robinson. Very seldom do you see the Englishman go down like that. And when you consider the size of Blackwell, showing us a couple of things tonight, including that beautifully executed arm drag takedown of the British Empire champion. The hammerlock, Blackwell to Robinson. Leg pick up and down goes Blackwell. A kick off by Robinson. Counter elbow into a full Nelson. Now Robinson for some reason backed off that one. Challenging now for a Greco-Roman. Oh, take a look at that. Step over on a toe hold. And Blackwell is in pain. You know, there's been a lot of talk about Jerry Blackwell possibly finding a partner and taking a run at the World Tag Team Championship. Like him or not, Blackwell's track record is simply unbelievable. Scissors being applied right now by Blackwell to Robinson. Robbie up to a bridge and he finally gets out of it. And now all of a sudden, a double toe hold and Blackwell has just had the tables reversed on him by the British Empire champion. Seventy-six pounds coming out of that left leg of Billy Robinson's. Well, I really don't know how to describe it. I think you've got to look at your television set and judge for yourself. little game of cat and mouse. 
We're at 10 minutes. 10. I've had the opportunity over the past couple of months to cover matches at Madison Square Garden in New York City, the Spectrum in Philadelphia, the Omni down in Atlanta, Georgia, on two or three occasions, and also at other points in the mid-Atlantic and southeastern portion of the United States and also here in Canada at Montreal and ladies and gentlemen believe me when I say this you will see no better wrestling in the world than you see right here in this area the kind of action you're watching right now on all-star and world championship wrestling Special holiday greetings from yours truly, Gene Okerlund, to the great promoters across Canada and in the United States and wherever this television program is being aired at this time. A good one between the big man from Stone Mountain, Georgia, Jerry Blackwell, and the British Empire champion, the Manchester, England native, Billy Robinson. Another perfect example of a great amateur turned professional. And you fans know what the last decade has meant for Billy Robinson. He is just now making plans for a tour of the European continent. Later on in 1982, Billy Robinson will be making an extensive tour of the Orient along with New Zealand, Australia, and all of Indonesia. Right now, Blackwell tied up by Robinson. And I know at one time, Blackwell had a hyperextended knee, so this may be the one vulnerable point that Robinson is working on. Billy Robinson, British Empire champion. Boy, oh, he's hot. Whoops, the language. Along with the action getting a little tough. Robbie, obviously, tremendously disturbed. And I thought we were going to see a basically clean match here, but that's not the case now. Paul Robinson is hot. Good Lord, is he hot. Blackwell coming up lame. sudden well I know that was too good to be true Blackwell being the devious sort that he is did nothing but bait Robinson earlier on this match then he came back and well fans you just saw what happened we're at 15 minutes, 15. The double sledge, Robinson down to the canvas. At the hands of Blackwell. And a big flying elbow. Backed up by 276 pounds, one, two. Whoops, Robinson with a leg out of that bottom rope. Oh, there's a boot across the throat. No reason for that. Absolutely no reason whatsoever. Now Blackwell tying Penny Robinson up in that corner. And there exists a very strong possibility of a little chicanery on the part of 
of the Georgia native. Now with a flying knee to the upper chest, maybe even to the throat of Robinson, and there's Blackwell. Well, I think he might be a bit premature if he is giving the victory sign at this point as Billy Robinson is not a loser. There's a headbutt. And I've seen this man, Blackwell, drive nails through a two-inch thick board with his head. So you can imagine how, how tough that head of his is. Now, Robinson is just looking for a little relief. Now there's a big uppercut. Wait a minute. And a flying drop kick by the big man. I can't believe that. Jerry Blackwell. Coming off the ropes. Trying for that big body splash. Robinson moving out of the way now. Billy Robinson trying for the pin and a two count and a kick out by Blackwell. Seesaw battle back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. Another headbutt by Jerry Blackwell. Robinson on Rubber Lake Street, down on his knees, obviously, in a great deal of pain. Holy cow! What action, indeed. There's an aid of the kidneys. Robinson underneath that bottom rope, out of the ring apron, and onto the arena floor. What a physical battle this has been. Robinson is hurt. How bad it's tough to determine. Blackwell doesn't give him a chance to get back into the ring. He nails him with a forearm. Robinson was over that top rope. Said Robinson hurt. That is quite apparent. There's a roundhouse right by Robinson. And again. Oh, look at Blackwell. Oh, what a right by Robinson. Blackwell, close to going down. This time an uppercut with an elbow. Oh, to Robinson and Blackwell. One, two. Well, I'll tell you, as Blackwell came off those ropes, Robinson really nailed him. The reversal on the face lock. Oh! Well, that could be it. One, two. One, two. Well, I can't believe it. Blackwell rolling that left shoulder to avoid the pinfall. Now. Robbie going to work with the boots. He's got him by the whiskers, by the hair on his chinny chin chin. Billy Robinson with another right. Back at Blackwell up into the corner. Try it for the whip, but it's reversed by Blackwell. Robinson coming in for a right, but Blackwell nailed him with a knee.
And you fans at home watching television, I'm certain can sympathize with Robinson. Again, the winner at 1951, Jerry.